Hello and welcome to another video. Here at Smarter Shrooming, our goal is to educate for harm reduction and to ensure you're having better and more consistent trips. Today's topic of conversation is about the infamous lemon tech. For those of you who don't know, tech is slang for technique. This is going to be an interesting video because it's probably one of the most iconic magic mushroom dosing techniques to ever exist. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So basic information. The lemon tech is one of the most talked about subjects regarding dosing magic mushrooms. A lot of the time when you're dosing with friends, there's always that one guy who's like, yo, bro, y'all don't do lemon tech? Most of the time it's inevitable. Being one of the most popular techs, it will always come up during a conversation about dosing. But how does it work? Normally people only know two things about lemon tech. One, it makes the trip more intense and it makes the trip shorter. Sounds simple, but there's a lot more to it than just that, and there's a lot of false information spread about Lemon Tech. Only a few websites online actually have the correct information regarding the Lemon Tech. Thus, it is very difficult to accurately use this technique to your advantage. So now that we got the basic information out of the way, let's get straight into the science behind the Lemon Tech and how it works. Basically, to know how the Lemon Tech works, we have to learn about defa these Dephosphorylation. 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 Psilocybin is a pro drug to psilocin. What that means is that the psilocybcubensis mushrooms are mostly psilocybin and have only a bit of psilocin. Psilocin is what actually gets you trippy. So before you can start tripping, your stomach needs to convert the psilocybin to psilocin. I don't know what the exact definition of pro drug means exactly, but at least I know how it works. That's all we need to know. So to convert psilocybin to psilocin, it needs to go through a process called dephosphorylation while in the stomach. Dephosphorylation is the name of the conversion process that the molecules go through for psilocybin to become psilocin. Dephosphorylation is the reason it takes about an hour for the effects to start taking place. I did my best to explain through my own words up until enzymes and other biological words I refuse to pretend like I understand entered the chat. I think it will be easier for both of us if I just quote this part from Psychonaut Wiki. The lemon tech theory suggests that the acid in the lemon juice jumpstarts the conversion of psilocybin into psilocin. There are two processes by which psilocybin can be dephos dephosphorylated into psilocin, either via the alkaline phosphate phosphata, phosphatase God enzyme in the intestine and kidney or in acidic environments such as the stomach. In theory, lemon juice which has a pH of around 2 should be acidic enough to dephosphorylate psilocybin in the same way the stomach can, with a pH of 1.5 to 3.5 in humans. Whew. So that quote basically handles all the how it works scientifically part of the conversation. Now let's get to the fun part. How this information applies to real life. In total, there are four main things that happen to your trip when you do a lemon tech. The come up is faster and less nauseating. The trip is more intense, but shorter. The reason the trip and come up are more intense is because they are shortened and the reason they are shortened is because they are more intense. To explain this, I have to use an analogy. Imagine you have a bucket filled with 1.5 units, imaginary units of water. If you drill a one centimeter hole, the water will empty in let's say about six hours. When you drill a 1.2 centimeter hole, the water will flow at a faster rate and the 1.5 units of water will empty in about 5 hours. So with the lemon tech mushroom trip, the fact that you absorb the active compounds faster and the trip hits harder means that you will also use up the active compounds faster and the trip will end sooner. I hope that was a good analogy and it all made sense. Now it's time to get technical. I hope you guys don't mind a bit of math because we're gonna need it. Online, you'll find a lot of false information from various websites about lemon teching. Some will say the trip cuts in half and the potency doubles. Some will say the trip becomes 30% shorter and becomes 30% stronger. And those variables are really woof and woof. Depends on the website. Here are some quotes as an example. The third wave.co. Most strikingly, it can feel up to two to three times stronger than if you had taken the same weight of unteched mushrooms. Zamnesia.com. The lemon tech method can cut the come up time by more than half and potentially increase the potency of the of the effects. Potentially. Oh my god, the light 
is burning my retinas. I cannot read the script. Doubleblindmag.com. Many argue it's two to three times the strength of eating dried mushrooms, and so you'll only need to eat about half your normal dose. However, not everyone is completely convinced that it actually intensifies the experience. So as you can see, some say it might not actually be doing anything and could be just placebo, and some say it can be two to three times stronger, and some s everyone says something different. So as you can see, the information available is not accurate at all. There's only one website that I have found that actually gives accurate information on the subject, and that is tripsurder.com. I highly suggest you guys go read the full article after this video because, as I said, it's the only website I know that describes lemon taking and its effects perfectly. I will have this article linked in the description. Here's a quote from their article just so that you guys, you know, you trust what I'm saying. We consider the lemon tech to increase the potency of magic mushrooms by up to 20%, often less. It's not going to double the intensity by any means, and in many cases, you won't notice a clear difference. So as you can see, they're not exaggerating 2 to 3 times, that's 200 to 300%. They're saying just 20%, most of the time 15%. And they're not saying that it could be a placebo effect either because that's not the case at all. They're saying you maybe won't notice a clear difference because sometimes it's you know, only 10%, 5%, but most of the time I'd say it's around 15% in my own personal experience. So anyways, anybody who thinks their trip is double to triple the potency from simply lemon taking are just falling for a placebo illusion. It's simply impossible. Personally, I have found that it reduces the heavy body load feeling and replaces it with an energized, almost electric feeling. Like there's electricity running through your nerves. The trip also feels more deep, meaningful, profound, and fun. Personally, I find that it reduces the heavy body load feeling and replaces it with an energized, almost electric feeling, like there's electricity running through your nerves. The trip also feels more deep, meaningful, profound, and fun, complemented by enhanced visuals. My first ever trip was a 1 gram lemon tech, about equivalent to 1.15 to 1.2 grams of non-lemon tech mushrooms, and it was one of my top, top three very high up top favorite trips this isn't going to be a trip report just a small description i felt my nerves having bursts of electricity and my balance would shut off during those bursts so i had to go up the stairs like a dog on four feet <laughs> well under a thick cover in pitch black darkness i even met a shroom entity named lucy which is odd because lucy is the you know name for lsd so uh, anyways Lucy showed me different levels of DMT type visuals and told me to take shrooms again if I liked what I saw. Which kind of makes sense because I heard from, I don't know who, Sight Substance or um, your mate Tom. I feel bad because I don't remember who it was, but some psychonaut YouTuber, but I honestly forgot who it was. But they said that the shroom molecule, if I'm not mistaken, deeply resembles the DMT one. So, um, or maybe not the molecule, but anyways. The trip, the DMT trip and mushroom trip are very alike in specific doses. A high dose of mushrooms is very similar to a DMT trip. That's it. Okay. So that's why it makes sense. Anyways, that was just one of my experiences and each was different in their own way. Point being, if you have never taken mushrooms using the lemon tech, I highly suggest you do so with no preconceived ideas. Go into the experience as a blank sheet of paper to not fall victim to placebo. I find the best way to do lemon tech is by doing it as a tea. Soak your mushrooms in lemon juice for 10-20 to 20 minutes. Whole, cut, or as a powder, doesn't change much. Then after soaking your mushrooms in the lemon juice, add hot water. Not boiling water, as this will destroy all the psilocin you just converted, as it is much more sensitive to temperature compared to psilocybin. And that's it. Not much you can F up. Just soak them in lemon juice, eat them, tea them. As long as they've been soaked in lemon juice for more or less 15 minutes, you're good. Only thing you can do wrong is strain the mushrooms out from the juice or tea because there's still a lot of active compounds in the mushrooms that haven't been extracted. So if you want the full effects of the trip, I suggest you eat those mushrooms. If not, 
you can redo a T up to three times from what I read on tripsitter.com because each T you make afterwards will be slightly, obviously, less potent, but you will still be extracting more psilocybin and psilocin. In summary, lemon teching is for people who don't mind or even want a shorter trip with the added benefits of a faster come up, a higher potency, more visuals, and a different feeling trip with no nausea. I personally don't always like to lemon tag because depending on my plans, I don't want a shorter trip that is more deep and profound, like when I go skiing or I'm at a water park, basically anytime when I'm in public. I want it to last longer and I want it to be more mellow. If I ever want a more potent experience, I take more. I want a slow, smooth and predictable come up. I don't like those come ups that come from behind and smack you on the head with a baseball bat. man. Once I took like, what was it, 1.8 or 2 G's lemon tech? Let's just say that's 2.4. Time stopped completely. Dead stop for about 5 seconds. That's pretty weird to say, right? Time stopped for 5 seconds. So how do I know what 5 seconds? Anyways, it felt like 5 seconds that time has stopped. And then the moment it restarted, it's like time was going like this, then it stopped. And then right where it stopped, it came back. It came back, but it didn't go backwards, it went forwards. Anyways, but for example, when I'm at home and I want a different type of trip that doesn't last long, because long trips are hard when you're stuck in a house, because eventually it'll get claustrophobic, where you're probably going to be closed eyed at one point, it is perfect. So that's why I like lemon tech. And that's why I don't do it often because I rarely trip at home and I rarely do close eye experiences. Because that shit is scary. And I had my fair share of those experiences and I'm pretty good for now, you know. I only do those types of trips once in a blue moon. So <laughs> that's probably why I liked my first trip so much. Lemon Tech in my house, closed eyes at one point. That's a special type of trip that I don't do often because I'm scared. Anyways, the more you do something, the less special it becomes, so I don't mind not doing it often. So, in conclusion, if you have never done Lemon Tech before, I deeply suggest you do try it under the set in settings that I have described. At home, with a moment closed eyed, start with a low dose. Please, for the love of God, do not, do not do lemon tech high dose for the first time it will hit you like a freight train that trip will be hauling ass you're gonna be here it's gonna be coming and it's gonna smack you in the face be very careful okay it's just a word of caution it's a different experience altogether not as simple as short but stronger i can't wait until more research is done on the subject because it's truly fascinating in my opinion if you are new to the channel I highly recommend you subscribe to not miss out on any valuable information that will greatly impact your chips in a purely positive way. I hope you guys are shrooming just a little bit smarter and if you also want your friends to shroom smarter, send them this video so that they can learn too. Nice to see you guys again. I'm sorry for the delay since the last video. Not that I have so much of a fan base at the moment but I think we'll get there I'm pretty sure. If I keep up the constant hard work we'll get there. Nice to see you guys again, and I can't wait to make the next video. Now that I have all my camera, recording, microphone, everything set up. Until next time, Smarter Shooming, out. So, basically, the first video I made on this channel, I tried uh, making some uh, AI generated content but um, I didn't really like how it turned out so I decided I'm gonna record my actual face the only problem I have with this setup of recording and filming videos is that my memory is ass from smoking weed for four years straight so I'm gonna try my best to read the text I made and uh, hopefully I don't look too uh, slow or uh, anyways point being this is my first video and hope it goes well. God damn, that light hurts my eyes. I think I'm gonna get used to it after my retinas fully burn 
through. I actually think I'm going to have trouble reading because of the fact that I have this like black circle in the middle of my vision. Hopefully I'll get through this without losing my vision because I need that. <laughs>